Uh, Chris Chinock here in the Black Magic Design uh, Suite, uh, where uh, it's actually a booth on a suite. Uh, the, here, uh, they're showing actually the, uh, their new cinema camera, 4K cinema camera, uh, which is going to create uh, quite a bit of ripples in the market. Uh, not only is it full featured, uh, but it's also very low priced. So uh, it's actually offered with two different uh, lens mount options, uh, an EL lens mount or a PL lens mount. Uh, the EL goes for about six grand, and the uh, P, uh, the EF goes for six grand, and the PL goes for 6,500. Um, that's with a super 35 millimeter um, sensor, uh, and which is actually swappable. So you can, t depending on which lens mount you want, there's actually four bolts in the front of this. You can take off the lens mount and sensor, and just swap in in the other one, uh, which also makes it uh, future proof. So if better sensors come along later. Uh, you can still use the whole camera body and electronics and just upgrade your, uh, uh, your sensor. Uh, so very clever design. Uh, it's also got some uh, actually very in innovative uh, features to this. Uh, for example, I think it's the only camera right now that has a 12G uh, output, uh, which means you can uh, basically have uh, uh, 4K content going out over a single cable instead of over four cables. And as far as recording goes in this camera, it has a C F, uh, C flash card uh, technology option that will record at about 350 megabits per second, uh, which is uh, quite a good uh, uh, data rate. And it's got uh, two, um, two codecs that it can use, the Cinema DNG RAW, uh, which is 12-bit lossless uh, UHD recording, or ProRes, uh, HQ quality. Now, it th these cards are not very big, so if you're in the Cinema DNG regime, and recording f uh, 4K uh, 30 frame per second, you get about seven and a half minutes on that card. Uh, but at ProRes, uh, you get about 18 minutes. And that's at 30 frames. So if you do 60 frames, you can half that, uh, half that again. Um, so I think those, um, it's also got a 10-inch uh, a, a screen on it, uh, and then two 5-inch touch panels, uh, which makes it uh, quite, quite easy to integrate uh, and operate uh, the device. Uh, it does shoot, uh, as I said, up to 60 frames. They're, they're looking at actually expanding that a little bit later uh, to about 120 frames, but that's still uh, to be determined. Um, and I think that's probably the key features. Um, not only is it full featured, but the price is going to be uh, uh, perhaps a little bit upsetting to the market here. So Chris Chinock uh, for Display Central.